Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answers. Today is question number 12. That is, how to find minimum value in a numbered array? This is one of those common use cases or questions that are often asked in your interviews. They'll give you an array, a numbered array, and they'll ask you to find minimum. This is very similar to what we saw in the previous episode where we found out the maximum value in a numbered array. Today we are going to learn how to find minimum value in a numbered array. Let's get started. All right, before I get started, I'll request you to kindly check out the ebook that I have published, which covers more than 100 plus tutorials and JavaScript code snippets that are often asked in interviews. These coding snippets will also help you become a better developer by increasing and improving your logical ability to think. Please do check out the ebook. The ebook link is in the description box below. You can also find it at arctutorials.gumroad.com. All right, so the question is, how do you find the minimum value in a numbered array? To find minimum value in a numbered array, we'll have to implement a custom method in which we will make use of array reduce method. What does the array reduce method do? It would loop through each element and we will then make a check to check if the value is less than the previous element. That's simple as that and the same logic applies to finding maximum also. So let's get started and do the hands on now. First, I'm going to open empty script and I'm going to just define an array and you can call it anything, um, any num any anything say IDs or say student IDs is equal to and give some numbers here. Etc. That's enough. All right. So we have a array which is now numbered array. Now let's implement a custom method and say find minimum, right? So this will be our array. It would it this particular method will take an input which will be array. All right. So now what we'll do? We will use array reduce method and we will then write array dot reduce. So this will use a reduce like how filter is there like that. It's an inbuilt method and the predicate takes if you see here, it says there is a callback method. It will take the current value, current index and array complete array. Right. So we are going to implement that now and write a custom function. And this is where it gets interesting because we will pass two values, previous value and the current value. Now what we'll do is since it's a method, we will implement it like this. All right. Now we have the array reduce method implemented. And here we just need to check if the value is greater than or not. So I'm going to check if the previous value is conditional statement, right? So here we are saying if it is greater return P or else return P. simple as that. That's the simplest way that you can find the minimum value in a numbered array. Okay. Now let's test it out and see how it looks. Alrighty. So this is my page. Now we don't have it because we haven't called the method. So let's call it find minimum and pass our array, which is students ID. Now go back and refresh and reload this. Okay. Let's see why we saved it. We are calling the find minimum. Okay. And we are not doing any console log. That's why. Okay. Perfect. So now it says the minimum value is five. Let's verify that in our data. So we see the lowest number is five. Now let's make change it to three or let's leave it to five and make this as three. Now the expected output is three. There you are, right? It's three. That means this is the simplest and the fastest way to find the minimum value in a given numbered array. Do try this out and let me know how you are able to achieve this. Please don't forget to check out my ebook it will really help you become a better developer. Please find the book at arctutorials.com. 
arttutorials.gumroad.com. Thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ask your doubts in the comment section. Thank you for joining. See you in the next episode.